everybody. Jeff Williams here with SJWilliams.com or AKA Boxcar Willie. Now, what are we doing today? Well, as you notice, I had to take the train because we're going to a secret location that you can't take a vehicle to. Only a train can get there. Okay, now, what are we doing? I'm gonna show you how to sample some of these old mine dumps. Cause I'm telling you, there's still lots of gold just sitting out there waiting for somebody to come and get it. But you gotta know where to go and how to figure out if there's gold in it. So come on, let's go. Okay, now, here's the mine I wanted to show you, one of them. And we'll go to another one that has gold. Anyway, this one was sealed off by BLM a few years ago. You can see the pipe sticking up, that's the main shaft. They left the pipes in there so the birds and bats could fly in and out of them. Now, what you can do is go to Google Earth and look at an area uh, that has gold producing area in a lot of mines. And what I did is I found the name of the mine and then I went to mindat.org, punched in that name, made sure it was in the right county, and then I found out what they were pulling out of here. They said they were pulling out gold, woo hoo! But the problem was, it said in sulfides, right down on the bottom of the list. And it had all the iron pyrite and calcopyrite and all the whole listings of, of sulfides. So I knew it wasn't something I wanted. And that's why it's important that you do that is you find out if it's free mill gold or sulfides or tellurides because you're going to be working your hiney off to get no shiny. So I'm going to illustrate my point. Now, like I said, a lot of the mines, the smaller mines, would put their, their good material that they're going to ship to the mill off to the side here. And they were mining limonite. And you can see it here in these piles of red dirt by the shaft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample it and show you what I'm talking about and why it's so important to know what you're getting into before you even get out to the mines. So come on, let's go. All right, okay, so you see these piles of dirt behind me? This one I'm standing on? Well, this was the classification area for the stuff they were pulling out of the mine. They'd screen it with a big trommel screen and they put the fine stuff here. Take a look at this. And they put the bigger stuff here, the big chunky stuff. And then they go through it later. Well, this is the stuff you want to sample right here when you go into these old small mines because you want to see if there's any gold there. Now in the background, you can see the mine dump, not tailing pile, of uh, the stuff that they didn't want. Usually there's two piles. So um, you can see the decomposing granite in there, all that white material. Now, something else we found in here was copper. I'm going to show you a sample of it right here. Take a look at that. See all the blues? See that? Isn't that pretty? Copper carbonate. You got a bunch of azurite in there too. And there's some malachite right there. See that malachite? And that's azurite right there. That nice pretty blue. So there's copper in there, which is a good formula when you're looking for gold. Whenever you got iron and copper in the mix, that's always good. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I got my material right here. I'm going to go ahead and pan it down. I'm going to show you what sulfides looks like, like uh, pyrite and calcopyrite. And why you want to stay away from mines like this? Because I tell you what, you work all day and you won't get an ounce of gold out of it. So come on, let's go. Okay. I know I'm going really fast. But that's because I got another mine I need to go to because that's where the gold's at. And I don't want to be messing around with these sulfides, but I think it's important that you see this. All right, come here, take a look at this. All right, let's see if I can wash some of that mud off. Get to shake that down. There you go. Of course, that's a, that looks like a piece of a bullet right there. Now, I'm gonna tap this up like that real quick and get those sulfides to walk to the top. Now, I know you can't see it because it's muddy water, but that's nothing but sulfides in there, pyrite, and calcopyrite right in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little looking glass out so you can get a close-up look of it so you can see what it looks like, all right? There's that piece of lead right there, see that? There's your sulfides right in there, see that? Calcopyrite, pyrite. See how it's got that kind of funky 
rainbow color to it, peacock color. <laughs> okay, now you got a chance to see what pyrite and calcopyrite looks like and why you don't want to mess with it. So you stay away from these kinds of mines. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to run to the top of the mountain because I know there's a mine up there that's got gold in it. Free mill too. And I hope they got piles of it because nobody's been up there for years. So come on, let's go. Okay, there's beautiful limonite piles everywhere. Now the interesting thing about this mine is that they mined out uh, not only gold and silver, but platinum, that's right. And the gold and the platinum come together. They're not alloyed, but they do travel together in, in gerocyte and plumbo gerocyte, or plumbo gerocyte, depending on how you pronounce it. So we got four tunnels, four levels. We're only concerned about the three. The fourth one was trying to come in from underneath. We're gonna go inside take samples because I know there's gold in the back drifts and of course there's a winds that they said it had 111 ounces per ton in it so come on let's go okay now remember I don't advocate anybody going in mines I've been in this one a million times so remember stay out and stay alive but come here take a look at this this is what they were following right here see this lens it's called a lens because it's skinny on the outside and then it gets fat in the middle and then skinny again. See where it pinches out right there? That's all limonite. And see the copper carbonate on the outer edge of the lens? That's why they blasted the heck out of this little chamber right here. It's called a stoke, in case you're wondering. So we're going to go ahead and go inside. And I think I know where they were getting this from. So, and hopefully there's some in there. So come on, let's go. Okay, now. When you're in mines, you gotta be careful. See this hole coming up on the floor? That's because there's a level down below and they tunneled up in here. And you gotta be real careful of these stopes that pop through to the other levels. Now the reason why this is here, if you haven't noticed is, see this nice old chunky vein right there? Yeah, see that lime and I? That's what they were chasing, right there. And what happens is, is they're chasing it from down below too. So you got two levels going at the same time on the same vein. And that's why you got holes in the floor. And that's why you gotta be careful. Anyway, we're gonna head on back in. Cause I think I know where it's at. So come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, now, right here, I got a wind. Goes down far. Woohoo, I can hear China down there, baby. Be careful, don't ever trust these rails. See how loose that is? And this board ain't too good either, so be careful. But come on, the place I'm thinking of is back here, so let's go. All right, now look at this. See this? See how smooth that is? That's called a shear zone. That's when two rock faces grind against each other. It's nice and smooth. Now see all this limonite right here? And you got all this copper carbonate right there? Now they left this column in here to hold the ceiling up so it don't fall off my head. But that's what they were chasing, that nice rich zone right there. And it even looks like that red right there, it could be cinnabar, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, what I'm curious about is back in here. So come here, take a look at this. All right, see this beautiful limonite? Look at that. That's what we're gonna take. Oh, it's nice and rich and red, so I'm gonna put my gold pan down there and get me a whole bunch of it. Yeah, look at that. I bet you that's where the 110 ounces is at. Look at all that rich material. Now I'm gonna take this back to the house and grind it up, because I know there's gold in there, so come on, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at all that nice rich material, see that? Ooh, I can't wait to see how much gold in there. So come on, let's go. Yeah. Woo -hoo, come on, let's grind it up. 
Look at that. See that? That's all the iron I pulled out of there. I got the iron out of there first. Cause I don't want no stinking iron in there. You know what I'm saying? Woo wee, cause that'll just gum up my machine. Okay, so. Look at that. Look at that beautiful powder right there. Woo hoo 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 hoo. You gotta love that. Woo, about 150 mesh. Gotta love it. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it over here to the, the uh, tub and we're gonna pan it out and see if we got any gold from our sample. So come on, let's go. All right. I gotta get that wet, see that? That's that nasty iron oxide in there. Ah. Don't forget your jet dry. All right, here we go. Woo, that is messy. That is messy. Ah. But, gotta make sure that I got no clumps on the bottom either. Cause you don't want no clumps in there. There we go. Yeah, you're gonna get wet too. Man, look at all that iron in there. That's nothing but iron, see that? That's why you gotta stratify that real well. Ooh, look at that, nothing but solid iron. I got a little bit of clay up in there too. Okay, here we go. We see all that iron. All right, that should be far enough. Let's see what we got. Whew. Let me get some clean water on it real quick. Because I can't see nothing in there. That's the downside. You do it this way. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'll bring that over so you can see it. Take a look at that. Okay. Pan that out real quick for you. Let's see if I can shake it down for you. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of gold in there. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, look at that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let me tap that up so you can see it. Man, that is really fine stuff. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I wanna get that right up there, right where my finger's at, see that? Can you see that? Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a a jeweler's loop on that so you can see that right up in that crease right there so hold on let me get my jeweler's loop all right let's take a look at that Ooh -wee. there you go that ain't too shabby not for a pan fool got some nice little chunks in there too you see that Ooh, i know where i'm going back to heck yeah look at that shiny didn't even have to work off my hiney to get it oh, oh, oh i like that look at that Woo. <laughs> I knew there was going up there, didn't I tell you? And nobody's been going up there for a long time, so it's still there. It's going to be there for a long time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of sampling these old mine dumps so you can get to go too. And if you liked today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment because I'd like to know what you think about all this. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying the advice I should give you. If it's gold that you seek, beware of the fever, for it's not for the meek. Take care, everybody.